Breathing is life. Apart from our heartbeat, breathing is the body function we perform more than any other. We cannot live without breathing for more than a few minutes. Yet most of us take our breathing completely for granted. We breathe, we're alive, no problem, right? Unfortunately not. The vast majority of us breathe nowhere near as efficiently as we're supposed to or we're built to. In fact, the vast majority of us breathe dysfunctionally, far below ideal efficiency, without even knowing it. Dysfunctional breathing plays a major role in the cause and pathology of many common illnesses. Snoring and sleep apnea, asthma and breathing difficulties, including shortness of breath, anxiety and depression, fatigue and irritability, headaches and migraines, dental problems, allergies and skin conditions, especially eczema, IBS and digestive complaints, memory problems, ADHD. According to medical diagnostic norms, functional or normal breathing should be like this. 12 to 14,000 breaths per day, 8 to 10 breaths per minute, through the nose, not using the mouth to breathe, at rest, using the diaphragm, no upper chest or shoulder movement, at rest, silent. This is far from how most of us breathe. For example, the average person breathes 25 to 30,000 times per day. This is twice the rate that is considered normal or functional for breathing. If we ate twice as much as the ideal amount, we all know what the outcome would be. It would undoubtedly lead to health problems. Why would this not be the case for our breathing? In addition to our nose, many of us breathe with our mouth wide open or through parted lips, even at rest. Breathing with your mouth open will always lead to dysfunctional breathing. Most of us use our chest and shoulders to drive breathing rather than using diaphragm, which is the primary breathing muscle. This will make it impossible to control breathing rate and rhythm and mean that you only use part of the full lung volume for gas exchange. Far from ideal. And last but not least, for all of us, our breathing is never completely silent. Audible breathing during the day or when sleeping, yawning, frequent sighs or frequent deep breaths are all signs of dysfunctional breathing. Can you identify with any of these signs of dysfunctional breathing? Hopefully, it is now not hard to understand why dysfunctional breathing can play such a significant role in so many health conditions. The good news is that all of the functions in our body that are automatic, they work whether we are aware of it or not, Breathing is the one function we can consciously control. This means with the right coaching, anyone's breathing can be retrained to functional or normal levels. That is our job. In our Breathing Dynamics training courses, we will teach you how to breathe again, that is, to breathe how you're built to at ideal levels, and therefore eliminate or lessen the symptoms of many ailments you may be experiencing. Whilst, like learning any new skill, it does take some practice, it is easy to learn and doesn't take long before you will start to see results. And you can do it right from your home.